so Dave, what is this, what is this blocks concept? I mean, it's a lot of things. Uh, for me, it was, it represents like a nice, easy step into Reactor. Um, when Reactor started, it was quite basic and it's just got more and more and more powerful. Um, and I think while that power is awesome, like for a lot of people, it can be a little bit intimidating to start with. So one thing Blocks does is it gives you a nice, easy step into it to start you know, working with this sort of modular environment in a software situation. Um, but it does a lot more than that as well. It's, it still sounds amazing. It's still super powerful. Um, but it just breaks down a lot of barriers for you. You can get started super quickly and just put stuff together really, really quickly. Yeah, where should people start when they see blocks? Is there is there somewhere that's kind of a, a good beginning place? I know you're I know what you're about to do, which we'll talk about in a second. But for for people just exploring this for the first time, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, the sound design guys did an awesome job putting together some example patches, and I'm sure they you know there's been loads floating around between us as well. So hopefully more will be coming. Um, yeah. So there's the examples that come with it, and then there's the user library where people are making their own as well. But I mean, the user library's just gone crazy with people making their own stuff, and that's a great place to check it out, too. And you were inspired a bit by this thing that has wires coming out of it over here, right? Um, yeah, yeah, Tell us of a course. bit about that. Uh, what, tell us about Eurorack, or...? Uh, well, <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we might not have time to go all the way through Eurorack, but what, um, in what way did this kind of influence what you were doing with blocks? Well, I mean, it's just the idea of breaking down your sound design into individual components. Rather than having this one preset synth in front of you, you can just take the bits that you want and put them together to make the sound that you want. So if you want a filter, you can load a filter. If you want an envelope, you load an envelope. And you can just think about your sound in a very object-based way. And you know, modular synths are fantastic for that because you just get the bits you need. So tell me, how are you feeling? Are you feeling, are you feeling nimble? Are you, is your hand ready to patch? Because I'm, I'm kind of, I kind of feel like I'm ready to, to watch you patch something. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, sure. If my screen can come on the screen screen, then that would be well, a good no, start. You know, take the time that you need to warm up here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's me. If, if, cool. if Dave seems a little bit keyed up it's, er, and kind of excited and m maybe a little bit of sweat already on his brow, it's because we're, we're going to kind of torture him a little bit and make him use this environment that everybody says is fast and easy and quick. And we're going to give him five minutes to do something with it. The longer I do this intro, I can see the more nervous this, this is getting, which is super exciting, especially yeah. for me because I don't have to do anything. Uh -huh. um, and I guess somehow in the back they have some sort of timer that they can bring up? Or, uh... I think the idea is that you explain what I'm doing so I don't have to talk. Yeah, no, no, no. Look. So if you, can, <laughs> I mean, if you can keep up, that's really the challenge. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's right. So I should actually be nervous too. I'm going to get ready okay. myself. Yeah, you're good. <clears throat> and are, are, you, are you ready? Yeah, sure, sure. So let's let's start the timer. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> um, mm, mm, mm. All right. So I'm just gonna load a VCA, which is like a little amplifier for my final output, and uh, an oscillator. And already I can patch that straight in, and that should give me some. That's good. Sound in 15 seconds. Oh, cool. So we got nice sounding oscillator. Good. Uh, I'm gonna get a couple oscillators because two are better than one. Uh, that. Don't don't tell the 303 that, but I I agree. <laughs> it's got two wave shapes though. So. That's true. Um, I'm gonna use a little mixer to mix my two oscillators, and I've named one of them two, and I'm gonna detune it slightly, and I'll do that as well. And look at that too, boy. As opposed to past versions of Reactor and other patching environments, we have we have a nice, pretty attractive face plates there, and I can see all the knobs and. Yeah. Something uh, is happening. I'm not hearing any sound, but no, 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 no. I'm, going. I'm patching deaf. So basically, um, I've just mixed a few audio sources into a mixer, and I've also used the CVP to make a sort of amplitude modulation thing. Um, but I'm getting there with the sound. Bear with me. You know, I've got things going on, uh, and I'm going to take that. Time is ticking. Dave is patching. Yes, sorry I'm watch about him that. And, uh, so it's I'm looking nice visually. I'm using this sample and hold to generate some random values for me, uh, if it works, like that. And I'm going to put that into a quantizer and into the pitch inputs of these oscillators, like that. And I'll give it a scale of some type, like that, and like that. Users at past versions of Reactor will also notice that you can see the entire word pitch as opposed to some small collection of letters. So now... It'll give me some notes like that, which is pretty exciting, if you like notes. Um, I'm also going to 
But rather than clicking the button, I'm going to use this LFO as a trigger. So now hopefully when I turn that up and speed this up and connect it to the right input, we'll get some, get some notes like that. And how long have I got left? You have two minutes, 50 seconds. Two minutes? Uh, and 50, uh, 47 seconds. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm going to use this envelope to modulate the volume so it's not constant, because that was quite annoying. And now I'll turn the modulation up here. And we got some notes, which is... Notes and envelopes. And dynamics. And, and dynamics and, yeah, multiple oscillators. All those fun things. Two minutes and 25 seconds. Wow, okay. Man, I could keep going for quite a while, to be honest. Um, do, do it. Use, use every second. Ooh. Yeah, all right. Sorry, I killed it for a second. There we go. Uh, so this will let me use a little bit of slew, which is kind of cool. Nice use of slew. And uh, it needs some effects. Oh, I'll tell you what, actually. Let's do this. This will be funny. And the two-minute warning. Okay. Um, you can do like cool FM cross-modulation stuff. So I'm going to do that with the oscillators. So you get this. Uh, let's put those on. Linear through zero. Like that. Sounds kind of cool. So uh, I've got to modulate that um, for giggles. Uh, like that. One minute, 30 seconds. Cool, all right, well I guess I'll add an effect on there. Um, we've got this really cool delay that you can clock. Um, so basically you give it a gate input and it syncs itself. Um, I mean you can sync it in a bunch of ways, but this is kind of a cool way to do it. So put it into the delay, into the output, and then we'll click on like that. We got some fun stuff going on there as well. Uh, 54 seconds. Oh, good. Doing all right here. Uh, where are we go. Already a really beautiful sounding patch, I have to say. Thank you. Okay. 40 seconds. So now that's just modulating the LFO so that it's faster and slower for different notes. And then just make it go a bit crazy. A bit cross modulation. And... 23 seconds. All oh, right, and a reverb for a big finish, I guess. Whee! How we doing? Oh, running out of space on my tiny laptop. Oh, okay. Uh, where's my reverb going? Cool. Uh, cavernous reverb. And time, but it's Three. beautiful. What about that? Cool. Big round of applause for Dave. Thank you. An, an entire patch, and maybe the time it takes for us to find our credit card and, and pay for some Eurorack modules. So I'm quite, quite, quite impressed. Beautiful.